so today you join me on a um, serpentine i'm not being here for a, a good while for a night session um not since you put the new stock of fish in anyway so yeah it's been a been a couple of years at least since i've done a night here um it's a bank holiday weekend on the sunday and got here and there wasn't a card in the car park just pulled in it was empty mind you it'd been absolutely bucketing it down all day i can see it fitting there um bucketing down all day so i tried to time it with my weather app to get here as it was dry anyway pulled up just as i was pulling up it the rain stopped i couldn't believe it so i thought i'll go and have a quick look put put me um put me bivy on this swim there was a bit of fizzing up when i got here so i went back for my stuff God, it's fizzing up there now. Um, went back for stuff just about to get my bivy up and the heavens opened, so I've just managed just about to stay dry. It's just stopping again now. I've not even set my pod up. I've got my rods in and my bivy up, but I'm fishing old school with um, something on my spills just so I know if I've had a, a run. I've just got me, 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 um, my tension Oh, absolutely nothing and I'm just um, free running my rods there just for now but the rain is just stopped now I've been doing this so I'm going to set my pod up now just it's absolutely bucketed it down again for 10 minutes so yeah I'm just going to get my rod in up to me right there it was fizzing up in front of me but it's uh, it's fizzing up I don't know if you can see it but fizzing up to the right of me no one's fishing down there at the moment there's somebody else booked in and then there's a lad and his dad to my left who's doing a day session so I'm just going to go and get my pod set up and um, sort myself out so I've just chucked everything in my bivy to stop it getting drenched so I'm just going to have a little sort out and uh, get back to you it's uh, 6 o'clock been fishing for a couple of hours now I've had one rechuck I've moved one of my rods to the far bank so I'm fishing the far bank but not dead tight up of come back a bit but I've got one just after halfway um, just to my right a bit I had one down the right hand side a bit more but when the fizzing was happening but it stopped so I've moved it because it's not really my water just in case anyone else comes on so that's all that's all that's happened heard a lad to me left he's just had some sort of run or something he's he never connected with it anyway literally two minutes ago but nothing's nothing's happened I've had no line there's no nothing um, but there's definitely fish on the mooch so so hopefully um, they'll start getting their heads down as the sun drops at least the rain's stopped now it's um, it's pretty nice now it's mild it's been mild all day it's just been hammering down um, it's nice and mild I think it's pretty dry tonight and it's nice tomorrow I'll be off I'll be off early tomorrow morning I've got to be off by 10 anyway but I'll probably be off at nine, eight or nine o'clock. We'll see, see how the night goes. Um, so yeah, I think it's tea time in a minute. I'm gonna have an earlier tea tonight, and then um, hopefully some bites will start up, start happening. The um, young lad next to me, I'm having a good chat with him. Um, he's been fishing here quite a bit, and he said most of the bites start coming later on, um, eight o'clock onwards. But I haven't got a clue. He used to get him during the day and everything, but I don't know. That's just what he's told me. He's found the bites come later on. So I hope that's true. Um, I won't mind one of the nice ones out of here. He got to 20, mid 20s, I believe now, um, which is a decent fish. Yeah, so hopefully um, one of the nice fish or eight fish will do. Um, I don't think it's going to be prolific like it used to be. We used to get nine, ten fish, and I think I'm looking at one or two. But that'll do me. I won't mind. I won't mind a nice, uh, nice chunky carp. Right, so I'm just gonna get me um, tea and uh, catch up in a bit.
half past six, quarter to seven. Left rods just screamed off. We've got a little feisty carp in here. Not sure, I'm not wady, but 14 ish. I'll weigh it in a minute, but about 14 pounds when it calms down. Maybe a bit heavier, I'm not sure. Look at that bad boy. Lovely. Bit of a mark on the on its head than on the other side, but apart from that, cracking fish. Didn't half scrap well. Just cracking fight. Definitely livened up while it's been resting. Come on. Play ball. Yeah, you'll just see that, just see that mark there, near its head. But uh, apart from that, cracking fish. Yeah, buzzing. Made up with that. Like I say, he's only been fishing two or three hours, so long time to go, yeah. Hopefully chance for another one. Right, we gonna give it a minute in the margins and then let it go. I just weighed that fish, it was near enough bang on 14 and a half pound. Um, it's funny, the young lad next to me, I don't know how old he is, but um been chatting a little bit and he come over and he's like, oh I'm gutted, I'm gutted, I've not had one, blah blah blah. He said, I'm going to refresh my rods. Wardo walked back to his rod, screamed off and he's just pulled a scraper 20 out, 20 pound 4 out. So I'm buzzing for him now, uh, yeah, made up. So we've had... No one's had a run, I've just had a run and he's had one, so pretty good. I know you can't see me, it's just gone nine o'clock. It's a Maybank holiday. And there's not one person on the Belmont complex apart from me. Absolutely dead. Not one person. There's only my car in the car park. The other two day anglers have gone home, dad and lad, and I'm on my own. Well, yeah. There's no one on Belmont, no one on Willow or nothing. And I've just got a beep. Morning, morning, morning. Ah, it's um sorry, I'm just keeping my eyes peeled. Um it's Monday Monday morning of the week of the coronation and I've come down to Serpentine for a little day session just to get get my rods in because I've not been able to do an overnight of this week. So making the most, my missus is working today so I'm making the most of it and I've just come down here for a few hours, either till dark or till I get bored, whichever. See what's happening with the fish. So yeah, I've come on here this morning about 8 o'clock. There's a lad on and his little lad from last night on the right hand side of the island. I'm just fishing on the left, left hand side of the island at the moment. Uh, come on and I've seen a couple of fish show on the far banks and I thought right it's a good place to start until until the fish tell me anything different so the lad on the right's just packed up he's he's shot off in the rain just just having a few minutes break in the rain I think so I thought I'll do this little intro so yeah I'm on till until whenever see if we can get one fish so I'll show you where I'm fishing as I said, I'm on the left-hand side of the island. Last week I was on the right-hand side. Um, but saw them two shows this morning, so I thought, sod it, come on this side. Um, I'm fishing one in the middle of the screen, basically on the far bank there. And one um, in the middle there. Only because I've seen a load of bubbling. And it was bubbles were moving, so I thought it must be a fish. So that's where we're fishing for now, unless... Unless um, something else tells me to move my rods, I'm just going to leave them there, just on solid bags, as usual. It's about 10 o'clock-ish now. Um, I've just moved both my rods, to be honest. One's in the same spot, but I've recast it 
as tight as I possibly can to the far margin because I've seen about four or five whether it's the same fish I don't know but along that back edge I've seen like four or five swirls were and they're all tight right up close to the far bank so I've cast both my left rod and my right rod as close as I possibly can to um, to the far bank so I want to see what happens um, definitely fish there I'm in the, I'm in the right spot I think because I've definitely seen I've definitely seen a few fish milling round so yeah um, hopefully we'll knit one um, I'm just gonna leave them there now for till at least dinner and see what happens gonna give them a good couple of hours in this spot because sometimes they're there but they're just not eating but until until I see fish showing everywhere else I'm just gonna leave them there um, Oh, there's another one there just yeah definitely leave me rods I'm just gonna leave them sit on my hands if I get a couple of liners gonna sit on my hands and not touch them and hopefully one of the nice fish will come out I believe there's a few twenties in here now I didn't know they were that big in here I thought once once a new stock come in they were all like 15 pound and stuff but um, I think they thin the stock out and um, I think some have put a few pound on so hopefully We'll have one of the better fish. Last week he had that 14 and a half, I think it was. Um, and the, the person who was fishing said, oh, you've got one of the small ones. <laughs> so there must be some decent ones in here. So hopefully we'll nick one of them. Fish. Not bad for him. 
two and a half hours fishing or something like that. Give me a right good scrap. What a cracking start. I hope this carries on. Um, two and a half hours fishing. I think it's about half ten, eleven, around there. Not quite sure, I'll be honest. I'll just pull this one out, as you've just seen. Give me a right, right good scrap. And uh, it's around, it's a 20 anyway, it's a low 20. I've not, no, not weighed me, me a uh, lucky mat yet. But I know it's like five and a half pound-ish. And they come up, they come out at 27.92. So, what a bloody fish. All right. Resting way of um, camera set. Oh, come on. There we go. What a belter. What a belter. Oh, it's proper lively now. What a stunner. Made up with that. Beats me other one of um, 14 and a half last last Monday or last Sunday last weekend. Yeah, first 20 of the year. It's got a lifted scale. This well, scales come off this side. I'm going to put some stuff on it in a minute. Oh, come on, it's well woken up this. Ah. Superb, superb. And we've still got a few hours to go. But if I go home, just this one will be happy now. Well worth braving the elements for. Right, so I'm just going to give it another little rest and then I'll put some stuff on the uh, lifted scale. Well made up with that one, absolutely buzzing. Yeah, 21.3 it ended up. Um, some feisty little bugger that one. Uh, give a good scrap anyway. Both rods, I've refreshed both rods anyway. Um, I've just sat here late for 15 minutes after I've caught it and it's gone quietish now, which is expected when that's just, when I've just had that one out of the spot. So I'm just gonna leave my rods in there now for a while and um, see if anything else starts showing. If, if so, I might change my spots, but at the moment I'm still fishing the far bank as tight as I possibly can. So, we'll see if we can nick another fish, and hopefully this rain will um, keep off, because it's quite nice now. It's not nice, but it's warm, it's mild, it's just um, damp. So hopefully this rain will stay off and we'll keep dry. Two o'clock, and the water has been dead where I'm fishing now. Gone absolutely dead. I'm going to keep walking over to the corner of the island here and yeah you can see one there in the shadows of the trees are fizzing up. It does seem to be a bit more um, movement down this end. The winds, well say the breeze has got up. Oh yeah look, Maybe we can just, let me just see if we can get that in. Right in the middle, yeah fizzing up everywhere down here. So um, I'm thinking a move could be on the cards to the next swim. Just because I've had, you know, you can see it, I don't know if you can see it, but in the shadows of the trees there, it's just fizzing up constantly. So yeah, I'm going to move now, it's two o'clock, I've got a few hours left, so it's well worthwhile. I can always move back if nothing happens when there's no one on. Right, right we're back fishing, I've swapped um, swims. Still only me on. Um, so now I'm still fishing the far bank. One fishing one basically in the middle of the screen opposite, and then the other one is that, that 
I'm going to say that tree, but there's hundreds of trees. That um, tree on its tod there that's like dead burr. There's one on line with that. So I'm fishing, that's where I'm fishing one. Pretty tight to the opposite bank, as close as could get. Um, yeah, let's just see if it, if it makes a difference moving or not. I'm not 100% convinced, but I had to do something. Um, I had a quick walk around the back before I cast in. Didn't really see anything. There's a few bubbles coming up here, but it's a bit more active than where I was. But oh great. Oh great, here comes the rain again. Time's moving on now. Half past five, the rain has just stopped and it's gone absolutely flat calm. I think I got done by a fish in the when it was raining. Uh, me, me left hand rod, the bobbin lifted up to the top, kind of went tight and then when I lifted into it there was nothing there. So I think I got done, to be honest. But there you go. So I've redone both rods anyway, it stopped raining, I've redone both rods, put a little bit more bait in. And hopefully, I've got about, what, three hours, two, three hours, depends what time I stay till. So it's looking like I'm not going to get my second fish after all, bit gutted. Ha made up caught that fish, but just bit gutted I didn't get a second fish, I thought I should have had. Should have done a bit better than they have done really, numbers wise, but there you go. I've had a few liners and stuff, but I think that's fish in the middle channel, cruising up and down, catching my line. So I've got a few things I want to fine tune next time when I come on here, because uh, I want to get back on Ryan Hill, but I want to do a couple of midweek bonanzas with Stu again. So I'm going to try and drag him from away from his catfish, and I'm going to try and get him on here for a, an overnight session before work. See if he can nick a carp, see if I can drag him away for them cats for a night anyway. So unless something happens in the next 10 minutes, I'll um, catch you next time and thanks for watching.